cleanup is a 12 months EVS project developed by Association for Cultural, Economic, Heuristic and Linguistic Cooperation and it's co-funded by the Rasmus Plus program. The project, cleaning local environment, encouraging its utilization and protection, attracted five youths from different countries to live and to do their EVS service in Bulgaria. The location of the project was the small village of Meshtica in Pernik region, Bulgaria. The village area is big as 21.13 square kilometers and 966 inhabitants live there. There flows the river Meshtishka and the international road from the Pernik to Strezomirovci and Serbia crosses the village. One of my main expectations was to put all my learned environmental skills in practice. I wanted to check myself and I haven't got more expectations at all. My expectation before this uh, uh, I arrived in this project was for the now the voluntaries uh, and uh, the collaboration with uh, a new group of voluntaries in this project. Okay, actually I didn't know at all what to expect because it was a project in a country I didn't know much about, about an organization I didn't know about, so I just came in with, let's say, no expectations at all. And so I won't be disappointed at the same point as well. The cleanup project aims at raising awareness of local population in the village of Meshtishka on the problems of protecting environment and raising public awareness of mitigation and liquidation of illegal dumps along the banks of the rivers that run through them, and in particular case, the river Meshtishka. The project and its activities are planned in the context of the European policy on environmental based on the percussionary principle, preventative action and eliminating pollution at the source. Two main sub-activities are planned. The first one, in the warm weather, is cleaning a part of the banks of the river Meshtishka with the support of the local mayor's office by removing the small dam sites there and converting the area into a park like one free of waste zones. This phase will serve as a demonstration to a local people of early results and motivation of keeping the area nice and clean. The biggest challenge for me in this project was to decide if I am enough able to go here because I have had many doubts like if my English is good enough uh, I am disabled person and I was afraid if I if I am strong enough if I can cook and I have many doubts about this. The very best challenge uh, is about the communication. Because when this arrive in this project, it's, uh, I found the very difficult for the communicate for the manager and the supervisor. Because uh, in uh, this ta in uh, that, that time, my English is not good because uh, I love for the defini definitely a disaster. And uh, yeah, and in these years I very improve about the English and I very proud. So I would say the most challenging thing here was definitely writing a strategy. Oh my god. <laughs> As I never wrote in such a scientific way, especially in English, it was really hard to yeah, learn how it's to write properly in English. And this was yeah, a big challenge, I would say. When the job was almost done, I was working only at the ending of strategy. I uh, remember the hardest work, for example, is about for the survey. 
because I'm not very able for about the Bulgarian language and it is very very hard for me and for the another volunteers. I would also say that maybe challenging was to work later only in office when we started to work yeah only inside and we couldn't move around anymore just to concentrate only on strategy and research and but yeah we made it yeah hardest part of the job and like i said before the hardest part of the job was i think strategy <laughs> yeah but not for me <laughs> The second sub-activity, during the colder months of the project, it's also directly connected and leads to achieving the objectives of the project. Namely, with the help of our volunteers, to develop a strategy with the measures to raise an environmental awareness among the population of the whole village and encourage more responsible action on the protection of environment and the locality and beyond. Also, we have uh, found out that actually locals very want to change and very want to keep their village more clean. And with the strategy, we will give them advices how they can improve uh, their environment here and how they can keep it clean. So what we found out here that there let's say yeah many problems such as the most of them are connected with containers like the containers are too small the containers are too far this is something we really have to work about but also the people are still in their old thinking times they they it needs a change here and this is our aim of the strategy to change people's mind with our ideas with our yeah fresh events and so on it's uh, the very important for the uh, not not, not pollu don't don't pull pollution the nature because the nature is the all people and the all the people is the have the respect for the nature and uh, everybody has to be involved uh, with the measures what else uh, they put in the strategy for example this the the control because it is the very important for the um, local people the check and again the check for the river or for the bad person this the pullet in the river or, or, or in the nature. The specific problem that we solved locally is limiting the systematic pollution of the riverbed of the river Mestishka throughout development and conduction of environmental education camping among the local population. We took concrete actions together with local mayoral administrations to locate and eradicate illegal dump sites for household waste within the settlement. For this purpose, we developed unconventional strategy of effective measures and means to work among the local population which could lead to breaking of old-fashioned stereotypes and visions and build a modern ecological thinking and conscious actions that lead to improvement of the local environment. For this, we did rely on the fresh thinking and ideas of our volunteers. Meanwhile, through the project, a lot of supporting activities on EVS promotion took place as well as some volunteer created and managed their own personal mini-project of their choice. In this project also I want to I want to highlight that I uh, made a table wooden table from the pallets taken from the market and uh, I used that screw driver and a chainsaw to uh, cut the desks 
and to screw the desks to table. I, uh, I wanted to make cabinet, not cabinet, uh, so uh, it has also a few upgrades. During the period, the volunteers will actively study the local language and the people and start to occur cultural, social and intergenerational understanding and build up relationships with them. Spal, spal, ni, spal, ni, golama, gostna, kuchnia, 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 Ah, okay, one moment. No, don't use force, come on. Kuchnia. 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 About the work with the local, I think this, uh, yeah, it is the very, very happy about this because I don't expect anything uh, uh, that the local people this the collaboration with the volunteers uh, spontaneous. I'm glad that I'm talking with local, maybe not so good, not so professional level, but a little bit I understand and I can uh, answer on some of them, their questions. The work with locals was amazing and I enjoyed it that we worked as well with youth as with older people and it was really great to see how people like think about different topics here and about their village. Such a, It was also really nice when we collected surveys to see how people are seeing their village. Some are like, yeah, it's completely clean here and some others are like, it's so dirty here. And that was nice that we were so close with locals. And I also appreciate that they appreciated us, like they gave us some uh, nice things and apples and cakes just because we worked here and it was very nice that they worked also with us. So let me introduce you to the most difficult tree we ever had. As you see, it's growing everywhere and Francesco right now tries yeah. to cope with this problem and to solve this problem, so yeah, we will continue with this tree, but as I said, it's very, very difficult and hard for us. So Beata is chilling in this, no, not Pachivka, but Kulichka. Kulichka. I'm doing Pachivka in my Kulichka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed because when I uh, was watching another videos when I was uh, hearing another volunteers. I thought that uh, we'll make a dream team that we can do almost everything together. And uh, it was very good, but for one month later it goes, you know, girls went to the other way and we went to the other way and we were cooperating only in the work. I enjoyed the most uh, that we had so many different tasks that we could do different things like we worked outside, we worked inside, we worked with the young people and older people and we did some presentations so I think this was the best thing about this project that we had always something new to do. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Today is the 13th of September so I'm exactly two months here and now I want to show you this area as you see, very dirty and much work for us, but we wanna try to clean this area today, so you will see later. What are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> nice job! <laughs> so, hello everybody! Yay. I mean, we did a good job today, but I think we're all a bit disappointed 
because we haven't expected that it is so much work to clean these things. So we did this part today, I mean, still, still better than nothing. Yeah. And it was really hard, so we are proud of us and we will continue with this big thing. To Go! <laughs> Uh, yeah. So let me introduce you to the walking bus. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, you can go. And uh, now this is the transporter, the big uh, brains in the compost. I'm very, very like and able about the the technical work. A difference for the work in the office. I like the most that we work very often very closely with the people here. We had our events where we cleaned the village, we had our presentations where locals came. We basically they helped us here sometimes to clean this area and that was a really great experience. What you, what we'll do for a second this do you remember Petya told us we should do a daily diary sometimes a video diary. Can you remember? Petya said we should do a video diary. Remember? Uh -huh. We will talk to a second to there, okay? Video diary? Yes, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk. Oh, you can it's got it out. Tell me, Patricia. Mm -hmm. No, correct okay, first. <laughs> How do you like the work? This is a microphone. Yes, a microphone with the microphone. <laughs> What will you said? What will be our solution for my funniest time in the project uh, was was events. Yes, was events uh, because um, in the summer, for example, we were uh, watering using water guns. And there was a big war, and it was very funny. Mm -hmm. uh, another way was a uh, Steven event. Uh, it was also very funny. It was summer, many people that I uh, made and made new contacts. <laughs> and. Uh, I was also at the seaside and uh, I mm -hmm. saw Burgas and Varna. Uh, I really wanted to see a uh, seaside because uh, I'm living all the time in the mountains. So I saw sea only a few times. Yeah, in the past this they go with a supervisor, manager, and it is another voluntary uh, Carola and uh, we participation for the special festival in the Madeleine and uh, I discovered in this the festival for the the very importance for about for the herba, herbate because uh, with the herbate this they do for example for the tea or uh, when you have for the problem in the, your body you use for their bath for the me uh, uh, has the medicine uh, festival surba yeah it is very very nice I much learn uh, the, the communication this is the very important English the language a Malco the the Bulgaria the language Bulgarian and uh, this is the creation a new relationship and uh, yeah I think this I more 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 lean and uh, yeah for example that change on the fireplace <laughs> <laughs> I learn in this the case for the creation for the movie. My name is Beata and I'm from Estonia. Buongiorno, my name is Francesco and I'm from Italy. Guten Tag, my name is Patricia and I'm from Austria. Dzień dobry, I'm Gregor from Poland. Hello 
tree. Hello. Why are you here? Because I want to make sure that nature is clean and protected. That's true! Oh, we have to do something with this. Oh yeah, let's clean it up. Yeah. After eight months, now I'm uh, more self-confident than previously. Now I know that I can make many things like manage my money, cook food, uh, every day uh, go to the shop. Uh, I can participate in events. Uh, and talk with locals in Bulgarian language maybe not so good but sometimes I understand them. I'm proud of the impact we had here on this local people. I never thought that we can move and change so much in this village and even though it was a hard job I'm so proud that the people that we raised their awareness that they started to think that's really great to see. I discovered here uh, on myself um, my skills uh, and I'm very proud of it and I'm very proud because not each, not every disabled person is making these things as I. I'm very proud of the work what we did here and about my group here and also I'm very proud of this river right now because it's now clean but when we came here, it was full of garbage. Along with these main activities, our five volunteers established many new contacts, obtained a lot of new knowledge and skills secured by the methods of non-formal education and by the communicating with local people in Bulgaria. The participating organizations build a capacity in project management and solving problems on environmental protection as well they brought the European context and dimension in their work. During the project there were supporting activities in Pernik, such as joint meetings with local volunteers and youth, visiting local institutions and partner organizations to discuss environmental issues and topics interesting to young people. We did more than 10 presentations, more than 10 workshops and more than 15 joint initiatives.
अच्छा वही Yes, I would stay here uh, and uh, make the job longer. In the end, in the end, I hope in the future, in the future, these the people, this the understanding, understanding, the very imp importance for the defend and the protection of nature. My benefit that I uh, will have for all the life. In this, from this project, are of course my skills that I learned here, and uh, I discovered more about myself. Now, as I said before, and I like to highlight there that I more confident. And uh, I know that I can make everything, almost everything. I just wanted to say that Bulgaria is a really nice and beautiful country with really nice people and I'm really sad that there are so many stereotypes, especially when I came here. Everyone told me don't do that, don't come to this country and I'm so surprised and so happy that I stepped out of my comfort zone and gave this all a chance.